What's up, just Aaron right here, question period Canada. How do you feel about Justin Trudeau? Not very good, right? How do you feel about Justin Trudeau giving millions and millions of your hard-earned tax dollars to his liberal insider buddies, like GC Strategies? Well, Larry Brock has Darren Anthony, one of those two guys that were in the basement making millions doing nothing, on the stand. And this guy looks like, sounds like, and feels like he's covering up for his liberal buddies. And I think he's, this poor dude's going to end up taking the fall the way that Larry Brock's cutting him up. And he's the lowest man on the totem pole. So that's probably who the bus is going to roll over. Let's take a look at Larry Brock absolutely destroying Darren Anthony, who is caught in a web of lies in this cover-up for Trudeau and his corrupt coalition NDP liberal government. Let's take a look. Mr. Brock, go ahead, please, for five. Thank you, Chair. Um, like my NDP colleague, um, sir, I, I am completely astonished of your complete lack of preparation for this committee hearing. You start off in your opening statement talking about how you and Mr. Firth have been wrongly portrayed in media, newsprint, committee hearings, MP, word on the street. You talk about the financial stresses, the emotional stresses, and you don't have any concrete answer to clearly relevant questions. You very proudly state it that you stand behind the words of your partner, Mr. Firth, that the Auditor General's report was completely inaccurate. How on earth could you have prepared any less for this hearing by not taking 20 minutes to read the actual report? I find it absolutely astonishing, sir, and quite frankly, it reflects very poorly on your credibility. So I want to ask you some questions for clarification. Are you in a partnership with Firth or are you a director in a company registered either through the Canada Corporations Act or the Ontario Corporations Act? What is it? We are partners. Do you have a partnership agreement? Yes or no? Just, just can I confirm with a, my lawyer for one second, please? Yep, go ahead, just uh, mute yourself. <laughs> Sorry. We are a corporation and I am a shareholder for that corporation. So you're not, in a, a, you're not in a partnership. You may refer to yourself as partners, but you don't have a legal partnership agreement, correct? That's correct. Okay. So you are a director. And you, under, and you didn't understand that directors have joint and several liability, meaning that you're both responsible for consequences of the acts of directors. You're aware of that now, sir? Um, I don't believe that to be true. Okay. Well, you can check with your lawyer on that. Um, Mr. Firth has put it out there in real evidence that he has committed, not on one occasion, but on multiple occasions, acts of forgery that would be defined as a criminal act under the Criminal Code of Canada. He claims it was a mistake. And as a former prosecutor, pretty much every single accused that I dealt with in the last 20 plus years always claimed they made mistakes. You understand, sir, ignorance of the law is no excuse. You understand that? Sure. So if Mr. Firth was willing to do that, but this is, I'm talking about the Botler uh, complaint, on at least four or five occasions without consulting, without getting approval, without getting clearance from Bottler to change the actual resume to ensure they received a contract, it really begs the question, how many times 
Has your 50-50 partner, director, Mr. Firth, done that on other contracts? Do you have an answer to that? I don't have I don't have an I don't have any knowledge of that. No, because what he does is up to him and what you do is up to you, correct? Is that your understanding? Yes. I see. Now, who was responsible for your web design on your website that probably fraudulently identifies several key government employees boasting about the value uh, of your uh, of your company, who was responsible for creating this web design? Um, I'm not sure. I believe that we did hire out someone to to build our website for us in 2015. Okay, who was the company? Um, I I don't have that information in front of me right now. You'll supply the information to us. Yeah, I can check my records. Okay, and in addition to Mr. Barrett's questions to you, you will also provide to me by, I'm going to give you seven days to do this, sir, the names of all the government employees that are referenced uh, in your website boasting about your particular company. You'll do that because you didn't have the answer as to who they were, but in seven days you'll provide me with that information, won't you? We can try and find that information for you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Barrett. Uh, Mr. Beans, please. That was just round one. Wait until you see what happens in round two. Brock is on fire. Uh, Mr. Brock, go ahead, sir. Thank you, Chair. Um, Mr. Anthony, does it concern you that uh, Mr. Firth actively engaged in, in acts of uh, fraud and forgery in relation to the uh, Butler contract? And furthermore, his evidence at committee that it was a standard practice of his to take a look at various resumes with other contracts and to match it to the requirements set out uh, by the government. Um, does it that that in my, that to me as a former prosecutor just spells out another word for criminality? So, on a personal level, sir, does it concern you that your partner has been engaged in criminal acts? Yes or no? I don't think he did. So you are defending his actions, is that correct? Yeah, I don't think he did. Are you defending his actions, sir? Are you saying that yes. what he did, what he did with respect to Bottler, changing their resumes without their consent and doing that same sort of practice with other contractors was entirely acceptable by your standards? I don't think he did that. He said he did. So that's fine. You're defending him. I, that's, I, I have you on record. That's, that's an important uh, point that perhaps you want to discuss uh, with your counsel. Now, you'll have to forgive me as well, sir, that in your opening statement, you, you, wanted, you wanted the public to, to, uh, to have some sympathy uh, for the situation that your company, the Government of Canada Strategies, is now facing in terms of the financial hardship. But according to uh, public accounts data, Government of Canada Strategies has received $59 million in federal funding from all federal departments combined since 2017. So if we take your commission value of 15 percent at the lowest all the way to 30 percent at the highest that means you and Firth since 2017 over the last seven years received 8.85 million dollars at the 15 percent mark or upwards to 17.7 million dollars at the highest mark that's roughly 4.4 million to you, sir, upwards to 8.8 .8 million. Now, in light of Justin Trudeau's just very poor fiscal policies that he's adopted since 2015 and the affordability crisis that Canadians are facing, you will probably understand that no Canadian has any sympathy for you, sir, in the situation you're in, because that amount of money uh, is something that's almost akin to winning the taxpayer lottery. 
So I'm not asking for a response, but I want you to consider that, sir, that you have been rewarded very handsomely at the backs of Canadian taxpayers. Now, last uh, line of questioning. What did you actually do in the grand total of two hours to prepare for this meeting, aside from talking to Christian Firth? What did you do? What did you review? I, I've re reviewed my own contracts. Did you think that someone in, at this committee would be asking about your contracts with the government of Canada? That's, that's, all, that's all I know. That's all you know. You don't know anything about your partner's involvement with the government of Canada and all the allegations against him? You didn't think there'd be other yeah. questions related to your involvement with Christian Firth? Well, I figured there would be questions related to Christian Firth. There were, I was surprised. Did Christian, that was Firth, did Christian Firth tell you what to say today, sir? Not at all. Do you always believe what Mr. Firth says to you? I trust him, yes. Do you always believe what he says to you? I trust him, yes. Yes. So if he said to you, and I guess he did say to you, I disagree with the Auditor General's report. You took that at face value without conducting any independent investigation on your own. I often tell my 14-year-old twin daughters, if you're going to do what, what friends say you're going to do, are you going to jump off a bridge if a friend tells you to do that as well? Do you ever push back on your, on your uh, business acquaintance or business partner, Mr. Firth? Have I ever pushed back? Yes. Yes. Okay. And in this particular case, you didn't think a very explosive document by an auditor who's been in the business of auditing for decades, and you have no auditing experience, do you? No. No. And Firth has no auditing experience. Right? I don't think so, no. So if, if, if Firth says, we disagree with everything that she has said, you will always accept that at face value. Well, he has knowledge. He has knowledge. Uh, Mr. Larry Brock is talking to Darren Anthony like he's a lying child. The only difference is that he's a lying adult. It gets worse in round three. Go ahead, Mr. Brock. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Mr. Anthony, do you currently have, or have you had in the past, any relatives working with uh, the government of Canada? No. All right. Uh, you'd agree with me, sir. I'm going to ask you a number of uh, rapid fire questions. You'd agree with me, sir, that Christian Firth really is the sole public face of government of Canada strategies. No. Point of order, Mr. Chair. Um, yeah, Mr. Sousa. I, I don't believe it's called Government of Canada GC Strategies. Order. I think that's the name no. of the company. Yeah, we've, already, a, we've already resolved that. Yeah, it's that. not a point of order, uh, Mr. Sousa, but thanks. Mr. Brock, continue, sir. Um, are you a public face? Uh, I might be now. <laughs> You probably are. Yeah, uh, that, that's, a, that's a good observation. But you'd agree with me that uh, Mr. Firth was front and center during the rollout of the Arrive Scam app over the last several years. It wasn't you, it was Mr. Firth, correct? He, he was the face for Arrive Scam, yes, yes. Yes, he was the one that held all the relationships with the bureaucrats, and government officials such as deputy ministers and ministers, not you, correct? I don't have any knowledge of that. He was the one that was whining and dining uh, potential contractors with government officials. That wasn't you, correct? That wasn't me. No. Literally everything to do with the Arrive Can scam was flowed directly through Christian Firth. It had no DNA of you on it. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I was not involved. Right. 
So we heard yesterday from Christian Firth that uh, not only yesterday, but in previous testimony, that he's quite proud of the Arrive Can scam. Are you equally proud? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm proud of the work that, that we were able to deliver. Are you proud of the end result? Which end result are you referring to? The end result that resulted in um, extremely long delays at the borders, chaos and confusion at airports, the faulty, glitchy part of the app that resulted in the illegal detention of 10,000 Canadians. Are you proud of those facts, Mr. Anthony? Yes or no? I have no, I have no knowledge of that. Come on, Mr. Anthony. You read papers. You watch the news. Were you living under a rock for the last three years? Did you not experience the frustrations that millions of Canadians had at airports, border crossings? You want this committee to believe this lie that you have no knowledge of those basic facts? Come on. No one believes you. I certainly don't believe you. Do you think Canadians got value for their money for the Arrive Can scam? We were asked to do a job for a price, and we did it. A price that was originally estimated at $80,000 that was multiplied 750 times to around $60 million. Is that, sir, value for the money? I have no knowledge of that. Of course you don't. <laughs> you were completely unable to answer relevant questions from numerous members of this committee. Will you ultimately answer questions that are put to you by the RCMP? If the RCMP reaches out, I will cooperate with them. Thank you. That was my question. So it brings us back to the same question. What do you think of Trudeau? How does he make you feel? He's behind all of these scams and scandals. There's so many with this liberal NDP corrupt coalition government it's ridiculous. Trudeau has to go. Jagmeet has to go. Freeland has to go. Get rid of that whole liberal cabinet. It's a disaster. And somebody that's kind of in Trudeau's cabinet is Jagmeet. So he has to go too, especially if the NDP ever wants to recover. It's so interesting what's going on with this GC strategy scandal and their involvement in the Arrive Scan Cam app. I'll, it's just a disaster, guys. My head is full of it. I'm just so tired of the way things have been going. They've got to get better. My name's Aaron. This is Question Period Canada. Thank you very much for watching the video. We've got other videos around here to check out if you like this one. So like and subscribe. Get notified if you're interested. We have fun here all the time. We do lots of live shows. We cover all the Question Periods live. We do a broadcast on that daily. It's a lot of fun. Come and check us out. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next video. See you next time.